And today, multiple state law enforcement agencies and firefighters helped return a fallen member of the United States Marine Corps to his family here in Warren County. WBKO reporter Adam Ferguson has the story. A Marine was escorted home by Tennessee and Kentucky State Police after a fatal hit and run took his life. 19-year-old Lance Corporal Keegan Allen was riding his motorcycle when he was hit by an unidentified motorist while stationed in Hawaii, succumbing to his injuries several days later. Just a, a charismatic guy. Uh, he was determined, determined to uh, excel in the Marine Corps. He came back and uh, helped out with the Toys for Tots program here locally. So even on his personal time, he was out to benefit the community. Um, from what I've seen from his friends and family, he was just a heck of a guy. Local firefighters from Alverton, Plano, Woodburn, Browning, Hadley, Halifax, and Bowling Green raised the United States flag above several overpasses along I-65 in Bowling Green to honor the fallen Marine. Yeah, he told me that joining the Marines is like one of the best things he ever did. And I remember being so upset when I had to go to boot camp because I couldn't talk to him for, you know, like 13 weeks or, you know, and I'm being so sad because I couldn't talk to him for 13 weeks, you know, so. According to the Honolulu Police Department, the collision occurred on September 1st. An unidentified motorist struck Allen and his motorcycle on the H1 East Freeway around 12.30 a.m. The motorist then stopped briefly before leaving the scene without rendering aid or providing their information. Allen was pronounced dead several days later on September 5th. I think when your son or daughter signs up for the United States military, you expect the worst could happen when they're deployed. And unfortunately, a lot of the worst happens during training or liberty. We have a lot of Marine sailors, air airmen and soldiers that face a lot of difficult times here in the States. Allen's remains were collected from Nashville Airport today and brought to Hardy and Sons Funeral Home, who will be providing funeral services on Sunday. According to Honolulu Police Department, the hit and run investigation is still ongoing. Reporting in Bowling Green, Adam Ferguson, WBKO News. And the family requests donations to be given to Otter Gap Baptist Church for upkeep of the cemetery where Allen will be laid to rest or the Fisher House Foundation who builds facilities that house military families while their loved ones are in the hospital.